Hey everyone, I thought I would try and do something a little bit different this time with um, the prop replicas. Rather than uh, post up a new photo, I thought I would maybe do an unboxing video. And um, I don't know, give that area a go. I, don't, I haven't really done unboxing videos before. Although I did take this particular item out of its cardboard box that it was shipped in. I did not take it out of its case um, that it is currently living in. I thought I would save that legitimately for the video to get a proper, um, I don't know, first look response. But here we go. That item is da -da -da, the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver by Rubber Toe Replicas. Many of us are waiting for these for quite a long time. Matter of fact, we've been begging him to make these for quite a long time, and obviously he finally did. And um, if it's anything like any of his other replicas, I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. But let's... Uh, Let's dig in, shall we? So, again, uh, this is the lid. Uh, the, it comes in this container here, rubber toe replicas, 10th uh, Doctor Sonic Screwdriver tin, uh, which is quite nice. I like the tins, actually. They, they seem like they'll hold up well, and it's a, it's a nice little touch of class. I like the decals that Nick puts on these, uh, which I assume he designed himself, of course. But, so that's the lid. Let's get that out of here. Next, we have... A letter. All right, so this is all the uh, care instructions basically for both Sonic Screwdriver and the display base. And, um, you yeah, know, the usual stuff he usually sends along so that you can always have this prop for quite a long time and take care of that uh, in your own collection. And this is the certificate that comes with it. 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver by Rubber Toe Replicas, Certificate of Authenticity, number 10 of 300, made by Nick Roboto. And on the flip side, oh cool, that's really cool. Nice, I haven't seen that side. Get that a little bit more close up. That's pretty sweet. And of course you got the vortex here, that's pretty fun too. Well done, Nick, well done, sir. I like it. All right, as we look inside the box, we get a little peek at the Sonic there. Um, the nice protective foam padding as usual with the, the fun Gallifrey and scroll design on it. Um, let's go ahead and dig in. So here we go. This is how it comes packaged, the display base here. And I'll tell you what, I can tell you right now, this video is gonna have at least one edit because I forgot that I can plug this in for light up shots. Um, but that's all right, we'll get to that. So let's start here because I know everybody wants me to start with the Sonic and I'm going to do that thing where you don't because it's very frustrating when people do that and now I'm going to be that guy. This is the plinth that the Sonic will sit in which is actually designed to look like the TARDIS console from the 9th and 10th Doctor's uh, TARDIS. That's pretty cool. All 3D printed. Get myself a better look here. Get us all a better look here. It's really fun. Definitely a nice, unique look to that. All right, we'll put that aside for now. All right, fine, I'm gonna get to the Sonic now. I guess that's what everybody wants, and mainly because I just can't skip to the base. Right. Oh, man. Yeah, look at that paint job. Probably shouldn't have used such harsh lighting here. Yeah, I don't think the lighting that I have here is doing this any justice. But I'll take some good photos later. I'll get them posted up as well. But the paint job, that crackle finish is amazing. That blue strip, look at that. So nice. The machining work, as uh, usual for Nick, is incredible. Look at those teeth. So good. Um... Top quality, as you'd come to expect. So different. Okay, cool. Well, let's give it a sound check, shall we? So clearly it uses the... Um, the uh, Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver sound chip rather than the uh, the regular 10th Doctor sound chip uh, from Character Options. Let's get that out of the way for a minute. 
Uh, which is fine, you know. I mean, we always want to try and get as accurate as we can with these things, but of course the on-screen prop did not have sound. I'm just happy to have some sort of sound file in there for our own needs. But... That's nice and loud, too. Oh my god, that's very loud. So it's got the yellow wires, as you would expect, for the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, for um, obviously the uh, the Series 4 and the Specials version of this prop. This is what David Tennant would have used in Season 4, Series 4, as the uh, regular old Aztec and Intermediate and so on were all refurbished to become this. I wish this video could get better on the paint. No, nope. just have to live with it. But all right, so yeah, so that's fun. Nice sliding action, very smooth. Probably should get a kit and open it up so I can show you the inside. Let's see. That's one of my favorite parts of this Sonic Screwdriver. Ta -da, there you go. All right. Okay, cool. So um, yet again, you, like I said, the, uh, the machining on this is pretty damn amazing. It's very clean. The paintwork is solid. The paintwork is like perfect crackle all around. And the work... Man, everything. The emitter cage is excellent. It's a wonderful bulb on the top. Black end cap. Again, solid. This is this is this is bang on. This is perfect. As a matter of fact, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put you there for a minute. I'm going to go back to these directions because I am curious which way he decided to make the batteries changeable. All right, so the sound chip in our Sonic is a modified CO chip featuring four different sound effects. Sure, we got that, we got that. Here we go. The battery used are three AG5 batteries. To change the battery, loosen or remove the rear lower grub screw. Got it, okay, so that's locking it in place. So I know that the bottom was threaded in place, but I didn't know if the grub screw actually did anything. Uh, this will reveal the lower part containing the batteries. Remove the battery by using a small implement. That's fine. I just kind of want to see inside anyway. Cool. All right, sweet. So at this point, what I might do is um, put in one of those there edits and get this base out, get it lit, and also get this thing apart so we can take a look at the inside. All right, so we are back now. I'm gonna take this fun thing away. After, of course, I play with it one more time, as you do. All right, so we're gonna go back into the case here. Take out the protective foam padding. Let's get this display base out of here. Nope. One second. Too loud, can't take it. No, I see, you're fine. All right. So, you know, empty case. Uh, one, yet again, the uh, lovely Gallifreyan script text all over the place. Really nice, really nice work. Very nice work, so. All right. So, very similar um, display stand to the Roboto uh, 11th Dr. Sonic Screwdriver, this is the, uh, the Series 5 through 7A Sonic Screwdriver. Um, nice. And yet again, the display base has information on the bottom. Um, same thing as the as the plaque before. 10th Dr. Sonic Screwdriver by Rubber Toe, made by Nick Roboto. Oh, one signed by Nick Roboto. Number 10, 300, as we're used to. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing wired up. Here, there we are. All right, 
fun. And here we go, moment of truth. That is great. Then back off again. So that's pretty cool. Very, very simple design to make this light up stand, but it, it does a lot. It'll look really great on display um, when lit up. It's a USB connection, um, obviously attached to an LED strip. So, you know, just regular USB. You can plug it into a computer. You can plug it into an iPhone connector or a regular base USB connector. But yeah, that's it. So, whoops, dropping stuff. Pretty cool dual layer. I like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sweet. All right. But now, let us see. Bring this in here. There we go. Right. So the grub screws are slotted, which is kind of more along the lines of uh, the specials year rather than using the hex head grub screws. There we go, this one will probably do. Yeah, cool. So it says just loosen that grub screw a little bit and then unscrew the bottom, which is different than the original prop. Of course, the original prop was held on strictly with grub screws. This was kind of more for stability purposes. Oh, that's nice and convenient. Great. All right. Very easy to change the batteries on this. I like to see that. What do we got there? Nice. Rubber tail, awesome. Good speaker section. And some of you may be able to read that. I'm having a little difficulty here. I don't wanna go, oh, that's terrible. Nice one, Nick. Let's see if I can't. No, nope. all right. All right, so um, of course the core is different from other replicas that we have seen in that it is 3D printed, which I uh, think is a good call. I don't really feel there's any kind of a major weight difference between this and other replicas, um, but it's a little bit better because a lot of the replicas usually use a brass chamber, um, and the issues that you usually run into with the brass chambers are the the, the wiring a lot of times in order to get the wiring in, they either had to strip the wiring or um, just had areas that were exposed. And anytime you have exposed wires touching other metal uh, bits to make a contact, you're draining the batteries quicker. So this seems um, a nice solution to not have to really deal with that. And of course, it's similar to how he made the, uh, the fourth Doctor, Sonic Screwdriver as well. Um, probably super loud now, right? Yeah, very loud. Cool. See, Nick's probably gonna kill me for taking this thing completely apart on the first day. I've got history with that. I don't think this is the right screwdriver for this, but it's what I got. All right, let's see. You always wanna be careful when taking one of these apart. You really gotta wiggle the collar out of place. And I'll be frank, this is day one. If I can't wiggle this thing comfortably out of place, I'm not taking it apart on video. Uh, yeah, I might just let that go. Which is fine by me. All right, yep, if you wanna see what this looks like, maybe I will wiggle this apart another time 
or somebody else on the net can go ahead and take that duty. Um, but yeah, just going to put this thing back together. And that is really it. Uh, quite a lengthy, quite possibly not the best unboxing video ever. But I thought, why not? Let's just try it. Um, it's kind of a kind of a special piece. So obviously, the tenth doctor means a lot to me. Um, doctor Who in general means a lot to me. Made a lot of great, great friends through Doctor Who. But um, perhaps the tenth doctor is a good reason, or is a good portion of of why with uh, with all the cosplay that I have done basically portraying the man for the past, I don't know, 12 years? Is that right? It seems right, 12 years. 13, oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, that's it. That is the Rubber Toe Replica's 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver home in my collection, just where I've always wanted it to be. I can't tell if my table is askew. Or if it's this video. Oh, there you go. I have the video on some kind of stretch feature. But anyway, Rubber Toe Replicas, 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. If you do not have a Rubber Toe Replicas, uh, Replica Sonic Screwdriver of any kind from him, I would highly recommend getting one. I'm going to show this side. Whoops, a daisy. I'm going to show that side there because I think that's really cool. Get this thing back in shot. There you go. Happy Rubber Toe Replicas. Uh, I would always, like I said, recommend Rubber Toe Replicas any given day of the week. Uh, Nick Roboto is just one of the coolest guys out there. Uh, the fact that he makes the props for the actual show and still resigns enough time for us, the fans, uh, even, even to just have a basic conversation with, not even just to, to furnish us with things like this, um, is is quite incredible, and, and, and it's a huge credit to his name. You know, he really does care about what he does, and he wants to do it right, and his products just speak for themselves. They're, they're quite amazing. Um, I have quite a few, as many of you can see just straight on my page. His work is nothing short of excellent ever. Um, been an absolute pleasure to know Nick all the years that I have. Can't speak highly enough for his products. If you have not gotten a sonic screwdriver yet, if you're on the fence about getting this particular sonic screwdriver, I, I quite frankly think that this is um, this is some of his finest work. This is really a beautiful piece. He's absolutely really just he's just nailed it. Uh, he he made some internal improvements, I guess, to make this video a little bit longer. He's made some internal improvements that uh, other replicas do not have. Uh, which is the the acrylic rod in the center, which, by the way, you will note is not frosted, and that is a, a, a wise design choice, in my opinion, for replicas, okay? Um, the real one was frosted. Um, many theories for that. One of them is that it was dry drilled uh, rather than lubricated drilled. And in this case, the reason that it, it's better to not have it be frosted in the center is because... Um, once it starts to frost, that's cracking, right? And once the cracking continues, that's called crazing. And the crazing just builds and builds and builds until this is an entire cracked rod, and then your replica just has a completely broken rod, which isn't accurate at all. Uh, which one do you want? One that's completely broken or one that's clear inside? I would rather go with clear, because that's going to give my replica a nice long life uh, and not look out of place. Um, so not dry drilling that is a good call. But he also made it be so that the, the internal core, rather than just resting in this tiny little collar here, the way most of the replicas have done, it actually extends into the ball joint so that there's more uh, to uh, cling on to so that this head is more stable. Same thing in the body. Um, in the body, he actually put more into the, the, the battery core than the sound chip core. Um, one other thing that, that I've noticed about Nick's uh, particular replica is that it seems to mostly be modeled uh, after um, the Tenant Prop 2, right? It's got the head alignment for the Tenant Prop 2, but also the ridges are a little bit more boxy. They're more like the, uh, the the one that ended up being the 11th hour prop for Matt Smith. So a little bit less like David Tennant's own prop, a little bit more like the Matt Smith prop. So the head alignment and the ridges are right for the Tenant Prop 2 rather than the prop that actually ended up in David Tennant's own hands, uh, which is the one that the wand company 
had 3D scanned, although um, even though they 3D scanned that, unfortunately, the replica itself still had a lot of inaccuracies. Um, not to say that this one's 100% perfect. Uh, I, I've always said about replicas, you know, there is no 100% uh, perfect replica out there. There's just varying degrees of, you know, accuracy and uh, what you can live with is what you ultimately in the end will be happy with. And in this one, I mean, you look at this, you see exactly what it is. Are there minute little differences to the real one? Probably, sure. You know, I could probably find a few things, a little few variances in the in the dimensions and so on, but there's no need to nitpick it because it's not way off base like some of the other replicas were out there. This thing is is just you look at it, this is perfect. You could you could go to conventions with this, you could make fan films with this, you can have it just on your shelf looking as incredible as it does. And you've got yourself one hell of a replica along with any of the other ones that he has ever produced. So that's it. That's, uh, that's, that's my unboxing video. And um, given how much I'm rambling and how long this video is going for, I may never do another one. Uh, yeah, so enjoy it while you can. And uh, go pick up a rubber toe replica of your own. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, you are a better person than me because I don't think I would have gotten this far. Uh, I, you know, whatever. Get your Sonic, have fun with it, enjoy. See you later. Thanks for watching.